So this is this? this is the appetizer. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they look great. Mm -hmm. This is Basil Saxamillion's TV dinner from scratch. <laughs> and how do you know Basil? He's in our band, Sister DJ's radio band. He plays horn, sings harmony, and plays a little guitar. Hmm? So. Well, we're lovely... just gonna warm it up at the last minute. Last not minute. Now. The lovely green broccoli, the lovely yellow corn. It doesn't have yellow dye number two in it, right? Let's check this later. <laughs> I think it's just got corn. Oh, it's got corn and salt and sugar. That's it? And yeah. salt. Wonderful. Corn, salt, and sugar. That's it. way to show off the enterprise is to put on the light show. I'll turn on and off these. There's a secret little switch right here. Oh! It's on like that. Isn't that nice? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do a couple. It's not copper, no. You know why I thought it was copper? Because it conducts heat so well. So I thought, well, maybe. Well, that's this, good. you don't want this thing to conduct heat. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. This is a knob. <laughs> yeah. I thought it, of course. <laughs> see, in the olden days, they probably had servants to do this. <laughs> or. You know, what, the servants in the 1950s Vancouver? <laughs> well, that's right. But this place was built or in 28, I, right? Dare I say, housewives? For anyone who tuned in late, this is Basil Saxamillions making a TV dinner. Mixed corn, mashed potatoes, <laughs> and wonderful chicken. So instead of butter, uh, I like a lot of butter, I used a bit of um, cream cheese because cream cheese has less fat than butter. And I don't know why else. That's a good reason. Um, Adds a bit of flavor. It's a different, that. different taste, I guess. Um, I hope I put enough uh, stuff in there. Now, another thing we like to have in uh, mashed potatoes is a lot of pepper. And How about do you have a potato masher? Oh yeah, that's coming. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, don't worry about putting too much pepper. That's what I always say in the mashed potatoes. Don't forget salt. Now, you are ready for the... I wonder if we have enough milk. I think I'll put a tiny bit more milk. Because the milk is what makes it creamy. We should actually use cream. But I don't have cream, so that's one of the reasons I put in cream cheese. Got it. I think I got it at the Sally Ann for about 25 cents. So many, many years ago, as I did this pot, which was also about 25 cents. So this is how you make mashed potatoes. You need elbow grease, don't you? Not oh, really. You want to do some mashing? Okay. It's very easy. Stand up where I was. So okay, so I can face that camera. How do you do, ladies and gents? I'm <laughs> visiting Basil Saxamillion's kitchen. Jill and Lauren is traveling kitchen, and we're smashing potatoes. Whoops. Making a bit of a mess. I did too. They were now, flying my around. mashed potatoes are a little on the lumpy side, but most people don't mind. I never have had any complaints. I don't complain about lumpy potatoes. Do you? No. no. Okay, this is ready now. Mm. There's that beautiful chicken. All that stuff. Turn the oven off. We've got the potatoes low just to keep them nice and warm. And I think we can almost, okay, well, we just have, these have to get boiled for just a few minutes, but they'll, they'll be doing that in a minute. So I think we'll just get the plates out and call everyone to, to the table and fire up another episode.